Welcome to Motor Show Updates presented by Michelin. We are coming at you live from Indonesia where the GIIAS is going on. If you don't know what it is, you should subscribe. Oh, that's your life. Yeah. Oh, well, let, let me talk about Indonesia. Why Indonesia? Why are we? Why do we have a crack team out there? Why are we out here talking about Indonesia? Well, uh, the two markets, automotive markets is what I will restrict it to, are very similar. Which two? Indonesia and India. That makes me think, even the names until the alphabet. Okay, let's, let me not get there. The fact is that the cars and the motorcycles out there are interesting and there's a high chance of them coming down to our country, right. which makes this international coverage no, this coverage of the International Auto Show very important for all of us. So hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so that you don't miss out on the action. Can I talk now? Uh, of course. All right. So India is one of the fastest growing, if not the fastest growing two-wheeler market in the world. And if you're not represented here, then you're late to the party. Yes. And when you're late to the party, you need to compensate for that. And Rohan is the expert on that because the last time he was late to a PD party, well, he took off his- I think Varun will have all better answers for all of us out here. Varun, please take it over. Indonesia is a land obsessed with underbone and maxi scooters. So you kind of get used to seeing them on the road after a while. But that's not the case in India. A maxi scooter like the Kinetic Blaze used to look like a wolf in sheepskin. How is Kimco doing it? With this, the X-Town 250i. Kimco has classified the X250i as a sport touring scooter and it has the hallmarks of one. I mean, look at the seat. It looks like a big sofa. You also have a giant windscreen up front. It can hold about 12.5 litres of fuel. And you also have a lot of underseat storage. And when you couple that with those dual headlamps up front and the chunky tyres, all in all, this looks like a very enormous scooter. The biggest talking point about this scooter is going to be the engine. Now, there are no technical specifications that we know of, but it's safe to assume that it's going to borrow the same mill from the downtown 250, which is another maxi scooter from Kimco. Having said that, if it borrows the same mill, it's going to make about 23 PS of power, but here's the twist. It's a big scooter, which means it carries a lot of weight. Now, its elder sibling, the X-Town 300i, weighs in excess of 180 kilograms, and it's safe to assume again, that this is going to weigh just about the same weight or maybe a couple of kilos lighter than that. And you will need that 23 PS of power to get this thing up and going. Look at this. Even if I stretch my hands out, it's still going to be a long scooter. And it's long, which means maneuvering this in the city is going to be a problem. In fact, it's probably going to be longer than your average cruisers like the Avenger or even the Thunderbird X. Let's talk about ride quality. What you see on the rear, you have dual spring suspension setup. And considering the fact that the second aspect of the Kimco X-Town 250i is touring, I think the overall ride quality is going to be plush. Now, a dual spring suspension on a scooter? That's rare. I, I don't think I can remember the last time I saw that on a scooter. Really? And, but will that be a problem? Well, for the scooter, no, but for the market, perhaps, because it does imply an expensive scooter. I think the, the this Kimco is going to be 2.3 lakh rupees, and that's a really expensive scooter to bring to the market now. When you look at the equipment on the scooter, the technology it's got, you can probably justify that price tag. Exactly. But entering the country in a place which is price sensitive, used to something like the Activa, is going to be a hard sell. I say credit where credit is due, and uh, big kudos for this brave step uh, for 22 Kimco. Basically, it's a joint venture between 22 and Kimco, and uh, I think it's a great step forward because I would personally like to see maxi scooters on Indian roads. Especially because when one third of the market is busy buying scooters, not everyone possibly wants an economical cookie cutter scooter. Cookie That's cutter right. scooter. That's absolutely right. And while we are waiting for the Kimco's to show up, what should we do? I think what you guys should do is watch the game of performance. It's an amazing show oh, yeah. full of tire smoke and fast cars and fast bikes. And I promise you, by the time you finish hitting like, leaving us a comment, watching the entire show, this scooter will probably get launched. Not a cookie cutter scooter. <laughs>